guys, so today we're doing a bit of a mukbang. Um, she didn't know what that was, but I'm sure you guys know what it is. <laughs> uh, we went to Dude's Donuts. It's kind of hard to say, but I, maybe I pick it up for you. And we got some delicious donuts. Mm -hmm. Whoa! We cut them in four so we can try them all. And we're going to do some conversation starters today. And maybe we can come up with some fun, interesting conversation starters Ooh. for you to try. Um, take them on dates. Yeah, feel free to use any of these. Any we, of these. Didn't, we did not come up with these, yeah. so. I feel like use I Use them as, as, as you'd like. What's that uh, show that Bob Saget was on? Uh, Wake Up San Francisco? Yes, this is like Wake Up San Francisco. Right Bob now. Saget <laughs> as Danny. As Danny. In Full House. Oh my god, it's called Danny Phantom. Alright, anyway, okay. what's your first conversation starter? What was the last funny video you saw, Emily? Good question. The last funny video I saw was the one that Emily and I created together. <laughs> that was very funny. It was a blindfolded dri driving challenge as a joke for a, like a big vlog. Mm. I put my mask over my face, pretended to drive backwards blindfolded, got into a crash, died, and I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> but we only got 550 views. So if you're out there, watch it. Watch it. On TikTok. Okay. Next one. Here we go. Okay. What do you do to get rid of stress? <laughs> Sweet friends, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> Recommended only if you have a COVID test first. Yeah. And I like to read, Emily. Yeah? Mm hmm. Reading's for suckers and chumps, but that's just my personal opinion. But that's cool. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, you're one to talk, Emily. Alright, next one. <laughs> what is something you are obsessed with, Emily? Could it be reading, perhaps? No. This is too hard because I'm obsessed with so many things. Yeah. Right. I'll tell, I'll like out myself right now and I'll tell you guys what I'm obsessed with that I've told everyone who will listen up what I'm obsessed with. So, I'm always obsessed with Twilight. All right, we know that. That's like established. Mm -hmm. But, any of your, anyone who follows you, would know anyone that. who follows me, I'm like, you know that. You guys like know, like, <laughs> I am Kristen Stewart. Um, but anyway, I'm obsessed with this new show. It's a children's show. <laughs> She made me watch two episodes. I already. made her watch two episodes. I went to sleep last night after watching three episodes of it. It's called The Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir. It's literally a, a children's show. It's a French children's show. It's everything to me. I'm obsessed with it. Why I like it, it's a children's show with a romance. And that's really sad. <laughs> no, but it's very intriguing. It's very intriguing. The Allow me to explain. Okay. I know you're into it. You're into it. Yeah. <laughs> so... There is are these two superheroes that are also like what middle schoolers? No, I'm not middle, I wouldn't watch them middle schoolers. No, high they're high schoolers. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm not about to watch some middle um, school romance here. <laughs> and the one girl, what's Marionette? What's her Marinette. name? Marinette. <laughs> She's in love with this like hot model guy that's in her. High okay, school. all right. Well, let me just. I, I'm gonna have to like fix this a little bit. He's okay. He so he's this like really famous model, and his dad's a fashion designer. But he goes to her school. He goes to her school, and he's like very cute. But he's, he's not like he's not like a hunky guy. Like he's a string bean with a nice face. Because he's 15. Because he's yeah. So it's he's not, not like, built. Yet. He's not built. Maybe he's someday. Not built. We don't know. Anyway, continue. But she's in love with him, and she is also she has a superhero alter ego of Ladybug. Little does she know that her partner in crime. Or the opposite of crime, I guess. Yeah. Saving crime is this guy, but he's his alter ego is Cat Noir, and Cat Noir is in love with Ladybug, who is Marionette. Ma Marinette. Marinette. So they're in love with each other, but in different personas, and they just don't know. The dramatic irony for the audience is just like wow. It's actually very smart. It is very smart. I told Emily she should. Write a you know write a book about if it if you if you see a book come out with this sort of format mm -hmm. hey I didn't steal it I borrowed okay yeah all right mm -hmm. next question <laughs> what is something popular now that annoys you TikTok I so. knew she was gonna say that <laughs> what annoys you about it I am not a fan of short form content okay that's that short form like it's too it's too all over the place for me well it can be a minute long it doesn't have to be fifteen seconds. It's still too all over the place. Okay. Like, I need something I can sit with. Okay. And, like, I'd much rather watch, like, a 20-minute TV show or something, you know? Interesting. Like, I know it's long, that's a, much, a lot longer than a minute, but you spend, if you're on TikTok, you're spending, like, at least 20 minutes on there, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, true. So I'd rather do that. 
Okay, next question. What are you going to do this weekend? I'm not, I have no plans. I, I have nothing to do in my life, so that's actually a depressing answer. I refuse to answer that one. <laughs> when was the last time you worked incredibly hard? <laughs> Wasn't I worked incredibly hard? I work hard every day. It's very difficult being me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, the last time I worked incredibly hard was I took this online biology class and you had to do all of these experiments and now these experiments weren't like an hour and done like these took a really long time like four hours so I would have to like sit at my desk for four hours and there was this one experiment that really made me laugh so I had to measure different white powdered substances this is literally true and I had to weigh them on a gram scale, like in my college dorm room, so it's not looking cute for me. <laughs> right? For like whatever experience, I forget what Did it you was. have to buy a gram scale for this class? Yeah, I had to pay 400 and some dollars for a lab kit. What? Exactly, it was crazy. Um, anyway, so I had room check-ins the next day, and I'm an RA, so like, I probably shouldn't have some suspicious white substances and a gram, and a gram scale, scale on my desk, right? <laughs> and I probably had a spoon on there too, honestly, oh God, just so like good. to make matters worse. And my, <laughs> it's funny, my superiors went in and said nothing, nothing. And I, I even asked them, I was like, did you, you see like my science project on there? And they're like, yeah, we were suspicious at first, but we figured it's just science. And I was like, mm, you trust me a lot. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, it was, but still. <laughs> Um, just suspicious things. Uh, yeah, so the last thing I did was the biology class. I had to try really hard at that. I got A in it, though. But, um, like, that's a brag. Like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> like me? If you had intro music, what song would it be and why? This is so interesting. For what? My life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Like, I guess, an existing song already? Yeah, would it be, like, a sick anime intro? No, no it would definitely be along the lines of, like, New Girl or How I Met Your Mother. Like, without, it, well, unlike New Girl, it wouldn't, I don't think it would have words. It would be, like, a bus bus, like, kind of fun thing, you know? Yeah. Like, she's moving, she's out, she's there, she's here, she's... Yeah, like, yeah. A fun drum beat. Yeah, you know? Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm but getting with that. some singing. So, scatting, so yeah, scatting, so some scatting. Maybe some scat. Some scat, some scat. Some scatting. <laughs> oh no, I clicked the wrong thing. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> what do you do when you hang out with your friends? Ha 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 ha. Excellent question. Um, I have mukbangs. I film vlogs and I force them to be in my content. Uh, that's part of it. What I do when I hang out with friends, I usually, I usually say there's a fun surprise in the basement. Lock them down there, of course. <laughs> um, go upstairs, make some delicious food, have the smell waft down there. Hold Leave, it in front of a vent. Like hold it in front of a vent, yeah. Let them down there for three to four days. And then when, the, when it starts getting suspicious, then I'm like, oh my god, I didn't know you were down here. And like, I'll call the cops too, so it's like this big event kind of thing. But it's like the game of Among Us. As long as you call you know, imposter first, you're safe. So as long as I'm like, oh my God, someone trapped you down here. And as much as she's saying, no, it was you, it was you. I'd be like, oh my God, you're dehydrated. Can I get you something to eat? Um, and then I'm like, see you next time. And we'll just do it again. We'll just do it again. So. <sighs> so next question, what's the question? What is a controversial opinion you have? Okay, this is a tough one because I don't want to put it out too controversial opinion because I have a lot of those. Um, here's a controversial opinion. I think men should be allowed to wear whatever they want. <laughs> I don't know why it's controversial, apparently but apparently it is, it is because uh, people have been coming for Mr. Harrison Styles mm -hmm. over the fact that he wore a dress. Meanwhile, men don't realize like that is attractive to women. The fact that you have the confidence to like wear makeup or a dress and like still be secure in your masculini masculinity, like that's not something that we look at and we're like, oh my god, I can't believe. We're like, wow. Good for him. Wow, good for you. Yeah, no. I, I personally, I don't know. I just, I look at it like, okay, so like I'm a feminist and feminist doesn't mean women are better than men. It means that I want everyone to be equal. And it's the same thing with men. Like I want men to feel comfortable wearing whatever they want. Okay. It, it, it goes both sides of the coin. So mm -hmm. girls out there who are hating on men wearing dresses and men who are doing the same. Stop. Okay. That's my piece. Okay. Yeah. I could go on. <laughs> just think about it. Who do your girlfriends like? Timothy Chalamet. Wait, he wears feminine clothes. Okay, like they want these, they want these kind of guys. 
Yeah. All right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm just saying, like, it's and Harry Styles too. I mean, Harry Styles. I mean, I could go on. Arguably Even, one of the most desired males. Of course. By females. Even like Ross Lynch. Game. Like, come on, pack it up, guys. Okay, <laughs> get rid of your basketball shorts and throw on a skirt. Yes, Thank you. Please. <laughs> please. I'm begging you. Please get rid of those basketball shorts. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, who had the biggest impact on the person you have become? Whoa, these are deep. They're Ellie. really deep, actually. Well, I guess I shouldn't be saying that to you. I should be saying this to the website. Yeah, that's true. I, I, well, I wrote it for the website. Yeah, right, of yeah. course. <laughs> Probably my mom, I'd say. Yeah, she, like, I would still see so many parts of her in uh -huh. it, you know? So I'm, like, very much similar to her. Like, sense of humor, mannerisms, stuff like that. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to have with you, though. You know, you're like, oh, my mom would do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Next one. Um, genital herpes outbreak. Here's how to... Oh, that was that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Where is the worst place you have been stuck for a long time? Ugh. My own thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh. I hate to say it, I hate to say it. My hometown. Sorry. You, she's getting she's getting she's I'm understanding getting like the the camera angles now. I hey, I was hey, I've been I've been rocking. No, she has she has been rocking it. She has been rocking it. Um not nothing against the town, it's just not for me. You know, like I love the city, I thrive in the city, I live in New York City now. For those of you who don't know. And it's just, you know, it's where I belong, and I grew up in a small town, literally has the word little in the name. We're a big small town. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway. That'll yeah. probably get copyrighted, watch. The yeah. YouTube will flag that. <laughs> this will be taken down almost Yeah, the time. impression was too good. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, probably there, just because, you know. I, was, I did feel trapped sometimes. But one more question, all right? Each of us get to ask each other one more question, and it has to be something delicious. Nutritious. Hmm? Maybe not. Not nutritious, but it has to be this delicious. One is, okay. This one is good. Okay, okay, guys. And I almost think we should both answer it, because okay, sure. it applies really well to both of us. So let's both answer it. Let's because we are both named Emily, in case you didn't know. Did we even say it at the beginning? No, we... I don't... Maybe, I don't My even, name's Emily. Yeah, her name's Emily, but... <clears throat> by the way... If you had to change your name, what would your new name be? <gasps> You're right. This is a great question for this both of us. This finale. is a great question. Okay, so I have a list of baby names on my phone, of course. And we've had this discussion where I've said this. I'm, like, not necessarily the kind of person that's, like, oh, my God, I want to grow up and be a mom. It's, like, I want to grow up and be someone's aunt. But I still have all these baby names just in case I write a book for characters. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, oh, boy. But anyway, so if I could have any other name... This is like a weird name, but I always thought it was really cool. I'd want the name Aurelia. And it's mm. it's the name of, uh, like, a, I feel like NASA just named, like, a planet or something that they found after it. And it's A-U-R-E-L-I-A, -E Aurelia. Mm -hmm. And I think it is such a unique and cool name. And I would like to be named that. Your turn. That was a popular name in ancient Rome, Emily. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Just saying. Anyway. <clears throat> I didn't think about my answer at all while you were answering, oh so I have no idea. <laughs> you don't have, like, a list of names on your phone? I do. I always, I always liked the name, like, Bridget. When I was, like, little, I was always drawn to that name. Also, um, people have told me I look like a Julia a lot. Yeah, you actually do look so like a Julia. So, maybe I'll just do that, because that's easy. I'll she would, Julia. she would be a Julia. That's, that's kind of it, folks. Those are the questions that we had. We didn't really have them prepared. We just found them yeah. actually like five and minutes. You know what? These are these are great. These are great. I'm very sugary. I'm stuffed, but I'm personally going into a coma, a diabetic coma right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's it, guys. Thank you for checking this out. If you have any other questions that you want to ask, maybe I'll do another like FAQ thing, Q and A, that kind of thing. But otherwise. Never speak to me again. Never look at me. Don't per even perceive me. Um, but don't unless, even think about hitting that subscribe about me. button. Don't, don't. Don't mm. do it. Don't like. Don't subscribe. None of it. I won't have it, okay? Um, anyway, please, please, please like and subscribe. I will see you guys next week. We actually filmed another vlog together, so I would say check that out now, but honestly, I don't know if I posted it yet. 
So <laughs> check that out when we do post it. It's us going geocaching. It was which, pretty fun. Yeah, well, we'll explain in the video. <laughs> anyway, Arrivederci. Bye. Bye, folks. <laughs>